So today we're going to show you the trailer that we made to move the pigs. Ended up getting the trailer body from Lowe's. Uh, it was like $600, something around there. And then we just simply built this cage on it out of cow paneling um, and kind of welded it together, put some wood in the bottom of the trailer, and we were good to go, and it worked out really, really well. So with the cow paneling, we just welded it together right at the, uh, the ends and the corners um, in the back here. And that worked out really, really well. It's pretty, pretty stable when you shake it. I mean, it's the whole frame of the trailer that's shaking as you shake it. So that worked out really well and it was really strong. We had no problems with that whatsoever. The back of the trailer is really nice. It's got a ramp and we can easily put that down. Look out, buddy. We can easily put that down and when it's on uh, the truck and it's actually level and not down, you know, it comes down right to the ground um, and works out really perfectly for the pigs to kind of walk up and down. It's got the little, the diamond mesh there. And so that works out really well. They can get in and out super, super easy. So over on this side, as Junior will show you, we have a latch. See the latch? Yep. And that makes it just really easy to open and close it and keep it closed when we still have the gate down or whatever. And I don't really want to trust the gate while we're on the highway for the back. I'd rather trust a whole back part of the cage. So we can quickly and easily undo the gate. And then when we swing it open, a nice part about having this back gate to swing open and then when it's open we already have one side blocked off um, when we're trying to corral them in um, or out into a, a pen pasture whatever and so then we only have to worry about getting like a pallet or something to kind of block off the other side uh, so that's kind of nice to do up the the containing cage here um, we just got deck boards you know other treated deck boards as you get lows um, and so then we just kind of put them through out the, uh, the perimeter of this. This is five foot by eight foot. Um, and we screwed them together and that was a slight problem, which I'll show you in a second. We simply just got cattle panel and then we stapled it to the inside of the deck boards. And of course on the bottom we have some um, weather treated plywood. And so all we did was we um, stapled with the nice uh, fence staples, the inside, the cow panel to the inside of those deck boards uh, all the way around. And then on top, we even cut a piece of cattle panel. And now, this cattle panel does not go all the way back. It stops here. Um, that was mostly, so we wanted the top to give it more support so that the, the, the cage itself was wiggling a lot until we put the top on. But we wanted to still be able to get up in it and stand up in the back if we need to get in and kind of position the pigs around or do whatever we need to do. Here I haven't finished doing it but went ahead and put some primer on it so it doesn't rust out. Now keep in mind this is galvanized um, fencing so when you weld it, do it outdoors, hold your breath, don't be a dummy, but don't do it or stuff like that that I should probably say. So this is the back hinge corner. Um, and so we couldn't weld the back uh, hinge area because, well, it has to hinge. So what we ended up doing is getting these little, um, like, tubing clamps, whatever you want to call them, um, and, and tighten them down fairly tight, and they held them well. And we got a, whatever, zip tie here. Um, and that way it allows it to hinge, but still holds it pretty strong together. But like I said, originally, um, you know, we built this to be able to transport the pigs, but we built it in a way that this cage part will slide off the trailer um, and so then in the winter when we had them up in the fence in the garden um, away from their normal um, pig house we had this with some tarp over top as their shelter so it kind of is a, a two-in-one almost um, and that, that caused a little bit of problems that we didn't we didn't plan for because we didn't originally plan for it to be that way my father-in-law had that idea of using it up there which was great um, and so in our original design, we didn't really strengthen the bottom. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And so we did end up having a slight problem when we uh, took the, the cage part off for the winter for them up in the garden as a shelter. Um, they really pushed it out and they pushed the screws out. You can see here, they really pushed the screw out off the boards. That board's not just sitting there. We gotta fix that. But also they bent 
the, the cattle pan a little bit. So they kind of bent that. So we're gonna have to try to fix that. One good way to fix that is we'll weld the pieces together down here and down there more and just give it some uh, extra strength at the bottom, which we didn't think about. We were thinking about the top originally to transport them. So like I said, with this design, we're able to take this off. And you can see how this kind of will slide out. Um, so I'm not gonna take it out because we still need to, like I said, it was kind of got bent and broken down there. So we need to fix it before it becomes an easy on, easy off kind of thing. But it comes on and off pretty easy. So it's a pretty modular kind of two in one type deal. But all in all, this has been a great trailer. Um, it's rated for 2,000 pounds, so we can put a number of pigs in here, but not, you know, we're not gonna cram them full in there. And then we'll put a couple hay bales in there to help kind of give them a little bit of comfort and help try to keep them from moving around too much as we're driving. So this works. This is kind of what we're doing around here. We're making things work without breaking the bank for all this. Um, so it's a good little build. Um, if you have any questions, wanna do something like this, need some help, please let me know because this turned out way better than I could have ever expected and this is an awesome awesome thing I'd be glad to help any of you guys if you're trying to do something like that leave a comment um, like this video subscribe to our channel if you want to see more stuff like this um, overall this thing man this was one of the best things we did kind of one of my more prouder uh, builds I really enjoy this